so I was inspired to buy the Ghost and Goblin game. Uh, I like Ghost and Goblin, but I always had a problem with the difficulty because I'm Bad B Gamer. Night. Give it a shot. The streamer plays in the Bappy mode. He doesn't go into the legendary mode. Oh, Luigi, why you play so Bappy? Someone in chat said, don't tell him you can make it easier. Twat. Wow. Really weird art style, says a chat member. I don't really like it. Uh, I don't, I don't hate it, but yeah, it's a little butt. I don't think it looks too bad for what it is. In fact, like some of it is pretty good. Some of the background stuff is nice. Me? Oh, I'm just here to pulp crows and get pulped myself. Can't really tell the difference between the knife and the lance. Knife is faster, is that it? Okay. Christ on a cross. Banner, no banner. Is this the Gark from Demon Crest game. Okay, you could just, like, eat a big dick right there. Oh, that's instant death. Can't really swim with metal armor, can you? Then again, I couldn't swim without it either. Dude was in his underoos and he couldn't swim. You see, let me tell you something about that. Oh, fuck off. Why is that the default option? No, 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 no! Wait, can I go back? Why is that the default? Oh! Not unless you die. Okay, time to die. I've said this yesterday in regards to Ghosts and Goblins. I have fun playing these games for 20 minutes. But I was a frog. But I was a frog. Momentum of the jump would dictate that I can jump over. It would be really great if there was an easier way to change weapons too. That would be so 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 cool. 
I keep thinking about the momentum of how I'm going to slide down and then get a boost as I jump, and that it never happens! I like it. On a, I, I, I like it. I think it's great doing that. Dying in that spot over and over again is cool. This is level one, by the way. It's like the only attack you have in Castlevania is holy water. And now I get to fight no more as ghost burritos. Very fun. Imagine a series where attacking up is the big innovation of the new game. be honest, chat, I know I'm doing the bad. I know that I'm not playing this game well. I do not like the way this man controls. Why does Capcom hate me? I just have to be really careful not to press the wrong button in the menu this time. Someone said, how is the menu designed poorly exactly? It's the player's fault, blah blah blah. Fair enough. However, if I'm, like, it, trying to talk to my chat, maybe this is a problem that not everyone has, but, you know, I like to look over at chat. When I play games like this, when I fail, my natural instinct is to go and look at chat, and to talk some shite. And, uh, when I do that, I, I- I can't really do that in this game. Squire difficulty does not have this design flaw. Yeah, but I- I don't want to play on Squire. Because then, that's Beppy mode. If that's the only difference, then I'd play on Squire. But why hasn't there been a single like, weapon change since the beginning. That sucks. That just straight up sucks. You got the same weapon. Just now I got the same weapon. It's the- it's the CBT hammer! Here we go! So, is chat trying to tell me that the only difference from this difficulty mode to the other is that the first option in the menu is to restart from the checkpoints? That's not what chat's tell- surely that's not what chat is telling me. It's not. There's more. Okay. Or, you can play this game on your own and play the difficulty you want to play. I want to play this one so I can complain.
wonder how I'm gonna get this next one. Oh, thank God. That was supposed to be armor. Yes, spawn on me. Oh, you have to understand something, chat. Before I, I admit defeat and lower a difficulty... Nope, don't want that. Let me adjust to the game and these weird, like, stiff controls that this, this strange man with his walk animations has. Let me try to adjust to that. Now that I have the knife, maybe that'll improve my life a lot. So, no need to give up just yet. No need to lower difficulty while I'm still trying to figure out how to play the game and adapt to its cock. You know, let me, let me try to figure it out. Yeah, eyeballs. Eyeball. Eyeballs. You balls, eyeballs. Sack tree. Mm. Yeah. Didn't grow yet. Didn't it? Didn't didn't grow yet. Don't worry, Chum. Takes a little bit of time, but they grow eventually. Patience is your enemy. You know what else is your enemy? Enemies with pots. The pots are the enemies. Okay. Thirty dollars, by the way. Valheim troll, it's gonna break my base. Alright, no more Mr. Knife Guy. First boss. First boss! Wow, you get, like, boss tips. That's nice. Yay. That's an inanimate, uh, hanging body killed me. <laughs> Excuse me. Man. 
Yeah. Oh, what have I picked up? What is this crap? Oh, no, I should have... No, I didn't realize this was a new weapon. I thought maybe it was a different power-up of some kind. Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. Suddenly, Dark Souls 3 doesn't seem like such a bad idea anymore. Oh great, now I have to fight my greatest enemy, Wind. There was armor, right? It, that was armor, chat. That was armor. I can't believe I'm taking this over the balls, but it, it's better. Oh wait, maybe the balls are better. Somehow, balls have returned. Brown tongues. Oh, they just... they just keep going. Oh, e What is this?! A hawk?! Oh, cock! I mean, it's- it's almost, to me, it really just seems so obvious to just always use the knife. It really does. This song is going to accompany my dreams, says a chat member. Yes. Lightning not that good on the hogs. Lightning not that good on the hogs. Oh, no, why did I do that? That was a mistake. That was a very obvious mistake. I just saw a shiny thing. My brain lapsed for a second. Big balls! Big old balls! Nacy Nacy's got the biggest balls! She was a ball machine, she kept a motor clean. She was the best damn balls that I ever seen. Loving those ACDC lyrics. You shook me ball night long. I swear they write more than just about their balls. I know that's the, the common trope. It's not just ball music. Sometimes they write about their shafts. <laughs> it depends on the song. Oh, thank God. Whew. Oh, man. Triple hog. Try hog! I'm being- my territory is being encroached upon by these disgusting tongue vines. Real talk, are you enjoying this game so far? I don't- I don't know. I just don't know yet. I mean... Yeah, I just have to adapt to its bullshittery and maybe I'll like it more, but right now I'm- I'm just struggling. I like the hogs. Uh, there's stuff in it I like. I'm just... You know, bad. I'm just bad at it. I, he loves hating it? Maybe. No, not really loves hating it. I, it is rewarding when you finally clear a section, but I just think there's some inherent weirdness in the level design here and there. On top of the ball-blistering difficulty that only ACDC can sing about. Hey, this is the guy that beat Badonkadonk live on his stream! Like, 
how do you not take damage there? And, and randomly treasure chest. Well, you let me apply the medical gel. Ah, yes. All over the crevices. But the sun most certainly doesn't shine. Ah, uh, Doc, I'm sick of being in a decon chamber. Can you get me out of here? Ah, uh, well, I have to send Subcommander to Paul in. She'll apply the gel to your back. Don't you worry about a thing. Close up of gel being applied. Unnecessary close up of gel being applied. Let me revise that statement. My favorite part of this bit is how few people know what the fuck you're talking about. It's true, and the people that maybe would have been interested in Enterprise years ago heard the music one time and then never watch it again. Damn, son. Ah, oh, yes. Apply the gel. Oh, no! I thought it was gonna be armor. Like, I... I how the fuck am I supposed to do damage against this enemy now? I can't reach the head! What, what is this game design? Oh, you know, just get the chest until you hope that you get a better weapon. Uh, otherwise, abandon all ye who enter, all hope. Finally. So I guess I'm just, like, stuck in between here now, huh? Bester Dosinorian! Okay, oh, my armor's gone now, that's good. Vinny, there's an unlockable higher difficulty. Oh, is there? Well, I'm gonna need to unlock that because I don't feel like I've been challenged enough. It's better that I died than to collect that. Yo! <laughs> Wow, I fucking kicked its ass that time. I think I've been, um... Oh, man. So, I slept, like, kind of shit last night because I had a headache. And... You know it's bad when you have dreams about Pokemon cards. Now, I... I... I had a dream, I pulled the Charizard. 
and then I went to go ship it to sell it. I'm not kidding. This is how weird my life is right now. Right? And I went to go sell it, and the place, the shipping place, put tape on the card, and it pulled the hollow foil off, and it was worth nothing. That was the dream I had last night. Now, the thing is, I don't even feel... Like, I feel like I got... I generally got the addiction out of my system. This happens to me. You remember me with Legos last year, chat? I, I went and got a bunch of Legos. I feel like, throughout this pandemic, and the quarantine, in some ways... The nostalgia of reliving one's childhood... Is comforting. Oh, that's death. I'm gonna try my best to keep this. For me. For, just for my own sake, so I don't get further addicted like I've seen people get. Um... My goal is to not specifically buy more stuff. But if I see it in a store anyway... Like the new set that I like, that I was- I got... For actual MSRP retail price. Maybe. That's my current M.O. Or if I find them in a geode somewhere in the middle of the desert. But this happens with me, with many things. And my baseball card collection is proof of that too. I, I went hard on the baseball card collecting. And then I checked my collection, and after 1994, nothing. Like, maybe a couple, like, 1995 things here and there, but it seems like 94 was pretty much the end of my baseball card. I think it's a nice hobby if you like the cards. You know, we, li we just like the cards. And if, if it's something that you enjoy, and you like to play the game or whatever, you know, and like, it brings you happiness. I think don't let anyone tell you, no, never mind. Let, let yourself enjoy it. That's how I feel. Maybe 20 years from now, crusty YouTubers or like neo-cyberpunk YouTubers will be doing the same thing that, that everyone's doing now. And the, the cards will be worth even more. Who knows? But, uh, all I know is I've got my cereal Pikachu. Vinny, does this game bring you joy? No. I mean, there's so many other games I obsessed over. Ugh. Oh. Oh my- oh god. But there we go, chat. I did it. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, Vinny, you can throw up. Yeah, I'm about to. Fuck! Vinny, have the cards made you interested in replaying your old Pokémon games? Actually, no. Is the one with New York, the Unovo region, is that good? Black and white? Yes. How long is that game, would you say? Some people think it's the best. Some- and then right below that, no, it's fucking not. Did I ever tell you guys the story of why I had Pokémon Red? Which is to say that my friend, my best friend and I thought Pokémon was for babies. And, um... Why? Because it seemed like it was for babies. It was a- it was a rat that went Pikachu. So... It was for babies. And we weren't babies. We were- we were 13. So we weren't babies at all. We were- we were men. You know what I mean? And so... We were making fun of Pokémon. Because it was so lame and for babies and there was a rat. And then... Smash Brothers came out. And then when you threw the Pokéballs, you'd learn who the Pokémon were. And then... I... Shamefully started getting interested. I watched a little bit of the show. I started learning about you know, who the Pokémon were, and what the type of game was, and I liked RPGs. And then, um... I secretly bought, in shame, Pokémon Red to see what all the fuss was about, because everyone was talking about it, everyone loved it. I didn't want to tell my best friend, because I thought he would... He would think I was real lame. And then, like, two weeks later, or a week later, he told me... 
that he got Pokemon Blue. And I was like, oh, thank God, because I got red. So we both bought the game in secret, away from each other. Because we didn't want each other, like, I, he, I didn't want him to think I was a baby. And he didn't want to think I thought he was a baby, if that was the right words. The first time I beat a Pokemon game was was Moon on stream, live. That was the very first time I, d I actually completed one of those games. I think I get a little bored. Like, they can get a little grindy. They can be a little bit, like, the first game in particular, like, some of that stuff, you know, there's a lot of menu work. and I remember having some frustrations with it. It's fun. I like the Pokemons and stuff, but it is pure marketing. You know... You know what uh, Game Freak and Nintendo are doing, and they know what they're doing, too. None of my powers that I have really help out in this section. The only other thing I, I like to collect, like gotta catch them all, was ants. I had fire ants, I had um, bullet ants, I had drill ants, dill ants, I had all of them. I had ants in the pants, I had mants, ants and uncles. Vinny, did you mean you had ant farms? I just, that, I lied. I didn't collect ants. The, the only time I collected ants, and this is a true story, is I had tree frogs. In like a little fish tank. And the only way to feed them, after a certain point, was to catch ants with sugar. And then feed the frogs with the ants. How? How? That said, though, chat, I actually may one day stream, and this will be Slay the Spire level, but I may do a bonus stream of me actually playing the Pokemon card game, the, uh, the computer version. That's okay, the good news is, if it's not something you're interested in, you don't have to be here for it, but I might do that. Pokemon Puzzle League. Uh, that was just Tetris Attack when I was growing up. And, um, I don't need Pikachu to sell me on, on a slide block game. These guys are uh, really annoying. I had a dream with Tony Soprano in it. I don't know what it was. It was like we... It, there was a pool. There was Uncle Walnut. And something Tony Soprano... We were... Something was happening. I know I'm being very specific here, but... So I stopped, uh, this is your Star Trek conversation for a moment here, is, uh, I stopped watching Deep Space Nine because Sphinx started doing Voyager and Enterprise, and I didn't have a chance to watch a whole lot of it. But I went back to DS9, I was like, wow, this is so much better. I'm up to the episode where, um, Quark dresses as Moogie. I won't spoil or anything, you know, 20-year-old show, but, uh, it's that, and the one I saw before that, was, um, a weird, like, Harry Potter-esque battle. And, um, and then what was the other one? Oh, uh, Red Squad. What, why is, why are you, why are you rushing? There's a thing over there. So, I had one of those wonderful headaches last night. I, last night wasn't the Tony Soprano dream. It was a day or two ago, but, um, there was a subway, I think. I don't know. Um, oh, great. Just gonna spawn on me like that? That's cool. Um, but yeah, I had a headache after I streamed. It was developing while I was streaming, and then I had, like, this fucking awful, massive headache. And I started dreaming, and my dreams had the headache. And then I just decided, you know what? 
I think tonight will be a good night to relax. So then I decided wisely to play this game, you know, for relaxation purposes. would help me here. Eat dick. Subway, eat. Well, this is a cool fight. I guess you just kind of grow up, and Garfield is there, and always will be there, and always was there. is going to cost us 54 years, Tars. You know, there's a Garfield theory that original Garfield from the 70s is wearing a Garfield suit. Now, it's a predictable pattern, but it's tough. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you can't jump on uh, the dragon in that part there. There's there's just no reason to attack at all here. Bingus. I'm doomed. Just hoping he would fly over me. No! Jump up! I am Gabul, son of Gubbins. Oh, shrink, 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 shrink! Shrink further! Nice. Head? Not a single hit taken. Oh, 
Holy Jesus. Honestly, having two weapon slots makes other weapons more viable. Otherwise, you'd just be like, no, why would I ever want that shit? Nice. That's cool. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad I have to wait through that all every time I die now. That's actually quite helpful. Not here, though. Not there, though. I guess you have to kill them as they build up. I, I got the thing. That's all that matters, I got the thing. Yeah, hmm. Fucking hell. Oh, fuck that. Fuck this, fuck that, fuck you! Okay, so there's the difference with the knife. When you crouch... ...it goes like this. No need to use that spell. There was no need to use that spell. Also, I didn't get that. Didn't count. I guess I missed one of the fairies. Sick. Scock. Oh, bat! Oh, man. I need that. Kind of reminds me of like Secret of Mana music a little bit. This I don't know if it if it fits this level, but it reminds me a little bit of that soundtrack. I need the- I- I need the upgrade. Oh! Look at that! Okay, they create fire when they land. Hmm. Yeah, now the music is no longer fitting at all. I liked the whimsical nature of it at first, but I'm not so sure this fits the <laughs> what's happening. I like whimsical music. It, it sounds like Mushroom Town music. Like, if you were in Secret of Mana right now and you reach the Mushroom Town, you might hear this. Oh, 
Alright, that's here's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna go up and we're gonna go into the up onto the, the thing, onto the thing, the paraffit. It's called paraffit, like boba fit. And we're gonna go up in a bunch of balloons. Alright, there's gonna be ice and balloons and uh, hypothermia. I'm gonna have to piss into a whoopee cushion. It's gonna be my best magic trick I've ever. Vinny, when do you plan on doing more prop hunt? Isn't there a prop hunt game that's just dedicated prop hunt? I saw Ross was playing it. There are several. I got the thing. I, it's actually easier to attack them, truthfully. I hope my weaponry will be enough. To defeat these, uh, menaces. These, uh... Fiends. You son of a bitch. Okay. All right. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. I mean, you, you just have to learn what each of them does. Vinny, I just wanted to let you know that I liked your son of a bitch joke. Aw, oh, thanks. I mean, it's almost as good as going out to a desert and eating rocks and finding cards in them. Can I rent an excavator in New York City? That, that wouldn't be too expensive, right? Yeah. Dig up a graveyard and find some neat cards. <laughs> Alright, well, who wants to enable my cardboard addiction? I mean, who wants to send me some more Shining Fates so I can dig them up in a graveyard? By the way, I got a... a response from the chat member that sent me the cards, and they, they said that their, um, tin that they got for themselves sucked. And they got one Shiny, and that was it. I said, do you, I, I said, listen, I'm sorry, do you want mine? And they said, no, it's okay, you earned it, you keep them. I gotta, yeah, gotta open the flamethrower. That flamethrower reaches really far. Back to that pattern. Ah, I, I think I have a good strategy now, but I, I'm gonna. I, I I think I got this. 
Someone just said fun game. Yeah, well, this is also kind of, I hate to say it, a lot of the um, FromSoft games get like this too. Like, in completely different styles of gameplay. But the die, learn pattern, rinse and repeat for two hours, it was a huge trend. No, they don't, says a chat member. Okay, so it's totally different then. Never mind, I, I, I made that up. The level of difficulty is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the gameplay. Someone said this is just bullshit. Well, why don't you get good instead of uh, complain about it? What, are you gonna cry? Are you gonna piss and shit and cop? Oh. Bloodborne 2, it took me two hours to defeat the Orphan of Kos. That boss battle was fucking hard, but I learned the patterns. I overcame myself. And I managed to defeat the Orphan of Kos. And I said, who's the big meat now, motherfucker? And it was... I mean... Is it a better design game? Yeah. I think so. I think Bloodborne is definitely a better design game. Absolutely. But, um... It's a very similar thing, is learn the pattern. Die a bunch. Get better, come back, win, and feel glory. You have to fill your glory hole so that you don't feel the void, you don't feel the void anymore. And the, the, the only way to fill the glory hole is to achieve glory. See now, that's kind of bullshit. I, I, I agree. Trust me, I, I'm not a fan of that. Like, you know, it's hard to know when the dude's gonna land on you. But, the glory hole has been filled. Why- why can't I- I move fast enough to get that? God damn it. Uh, okay. Uh, ha. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tell Jesta. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have scissors. Balloon? What the fuck? Uh, uh, what? Oh, that wasn't the way! It was too dark! Fuck you. Fuck you. Could there be any more enemies on screen at the same time? It was right there, the checkpoint. That's the checkpoint, right there. It's right there. Now I don't have... Now I don't have knives. Now I don't have knives. Invisible enemy cluster fuck time. Wow. How fun. How fun and nice. Up, up, up. Careful, don't grab a ladder when there's an eyeball headed towards you. <laughs> How do people live? Okay. Vinny, don't forget you can double jump. Oh, come on. Come on, don't even... For the record, there is no double jump in this game. 
Just for anyone who's wondering why I'm not double jumping. Another fairy up there? Did I miss that? Oh, looks like I'll have another chance. Where'd I go? Where did I go? I swallowed by the sea. Anything you want, you got it. Anything you need, anything at all, you got it. That seems... japes. Oh! Something is over there. Why would it look like that? I know I'm not supposed to go there anymore, I'm not going to, but why, why would it look like that? Vinny, don't take those rocks for granite. Yeah, Morty, don't take the rocks for granite, Morty. <laughs> yes, yes. Dark is fun. You know, you're, you're not supposed to see. It's better when you can't see. What? There's a ledge grab in this game? It's more fun with the lights off. It's less dangerous. Here we are now. Don't want that. Got it and died. What? There's a gaggle of ghouls now. Come on, why, why are you cheating? I don't want the lance. I don't want the lance, please! Best attempt yet. <laughs> sometimes there's enemy, sometimes not. Sometimes there's the enemy, and then sometimes there just doesn't appear to be anything. Why? This is so f fun. Bats! Bats! Where are the bats? Uh, 
Oh. Love dark levels. Anything you want, you got it. Anything you need, you got it. Baby. Hello, Mario. Yes. Oh no! My my leg my my leg pressed the button. Is that the, the, the default option? Fuck you, game! Oh, you fuck! No! <laughs> oh, you, you fuck! I, I, I'm very, I'm, I'm very sweaty right now. Invisible. They have to be invisible too. Like they have to be. 80% translucent as well. Oh! Did I tell you about the cousin I had that sounded one way? And then the Sopranos happened, and then he sounded like Tony Soprano for the rest of his life. Did I ever tell you about that cousin? I guess in his mind he equated Tony Soprano with strength. And, uh, and, and so he just decided to talk like him, and he adopted his mannerisms, and, uh, and now he's just permanently Tony Soprano. Yeah, scissors! 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 So you're saying he completely missed the point of the show. Yep, 100%. Yes, yes! Instantly gone. Oh, you like gold armor? Gone. <laughs> what a cool feature. I just don't understand some of these level design choices. Like, I like some of the boss fights. I, I even enjoyed some of the levels. Earlier on, some of the moments were good. Last stream, I enjoyed. I don't understand why someone would make a level like this. You just have to take guesses. You just have to guess. I don't remember. I can't memorize all the fucking...
Hold me down no more. No, they're not gonna change my mind. Cause I've got faith of the heart. There's nothing ever gonna change me. Oh! <laughs> What a jerky weapon. What a jerky weapon that is. You gotta go look. Can't wait for the death reel video. All right, that's a uh, that's a bottomless pit there. That's right. <laughs> God! At least I can fucking see this time. Wasn't that the, the checkpoint? Right there? That was the checkpoint, no? See <laughs> No! Golden shoot! Shoot! Got it. Yeah! 
Yes! Please. Oh. I don't. I, don't, I, I thought it was a background element. Please, no more frog. Please, no more frog. But no, I landed on it. Fuck you. <laughs> will you play the pain song over this game sometime I'm sure there will be an edit the pain cut I didn't expect to be killed by a burrito Momentum. <sighs> ah, I got it. Oh no, more more dark level? No. No, no more dark level. Oh, it's the boss. It's the boss. Oh man. This level fucking sucked. Boy. Okay. Invisible. Take hits! All right, yeah, you can still- yeah, the fire, the candle. Big strong man, big strong king man with fucking armor and big muscles and a big fucking hammer. Can't touch a little candle! Get f Get fu fucked. Could we cluster any more fucks, please? Can't wait to get my one revive at the very beginning of this level, never again. It's cutting out a lot more now.
Yes. No. Well, where's the where's the fairy? It's gone again? Well, that's another one I can stop thinking about. I, I see no good way to destroy that. <laughs> oh, I like the way that it looks. Dentata, vagina dentata chat member, really? You son of a bitch! Ugh. Okay, yeah, and uh, they just show up. They just show up. Oh, that's instant pulp. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Reaction time uh, is the uh, very much very good. Oh. High CPU usage detected. You may experience performance issues. What the fuck is the CPU usage? Is Ghosts and Goblins a Bitcoin miner? It's, um... Bees! Oh, oh, that's not a good platform, that's a teeth platform. Okay, so don't get too close. Damn it. Smart. 
smart streamer. Uh, uh. Great. Oh. I forgot resurrection even existed. Yes, thank you, resurrection. Feels more hollow than normal, but I'll take it. What is this fucking hot garbage? Alright, well, that's good. Oh, oh, it's like a, a boss rush? Here, here we go again, chat. Did you see the trailer? Jeff uh, showed me this trailer for this mobile war game that has this, it's like five minutes of World War II CG. I think it's called Warpath. And, and it's like a mobile RTS game, like a mobile strategy game. And the trailer is absolutely insane. Like, they spent all their money on the fucking ad for the game and not the game itself from what it looks like. I don't know, maybe it's great, but, you know. Wow. Vinny Godzilla dude got his Zilla back. I saw. He got my coffin card, too, with the, uh, the signature. I am- I'm pleased. I hope Godzilla dude, uh, uses his Godzilla DVD. Uh, Blu-ray, whatever, and enjoys. What more? Some more Switch, uh, Switch Pro rumors with like NVIDIA DLSS uh, compatibility. Someone said, I don't believe rumors. Most of the time, I don't either. I, I feel like it's more of a... It's more of a, um, a fantasy to have a switch that can actually... Wow, cool fucking logs! Robert Plant, big log. I want to get the fairy. I want to get the fairy. Chat, you need it. Yeah, I mean, also, the, the rumors of the Nintendo Switch Pro are coming from, like... Like, pretty... Like big news sources and not just like cock taco, you know what I mean? Like or some site like that or named something completely like Nintendo rumor cock dot cock. So maybe there's there's some validity. I think the switch is is beginning to show its crust at the four year mark. Wow, that's a really cool uh, game section. This is a fun challenge. I, I like this challenge. Vinny, kill the boss, fight him. Is that really what I'm supposed to do here? That's all I wanted. I, I just wanted to get it. So it turns out you can use the fast ability and climb faster too and just cheese through this whole area. That's cool. Love this game. You know what? I just haven't applied enough of the gel. That's really what it's all about. It's the one-year anniversary of Half-Life Alex. I'll tell you what. Between Half-Life Alex, Doom Eternal, and Animal Crossing, we got a lot of good releases in a very short period of time, and thank God for that, because the beginning of last year into much of last year was just shit. Doom Eternal is not a good release, says a chat member. You, that is a very brave and, and stunning opinion. 
Can you cry out like a little baby for for the film? It'd be so beautiful. Cry, crawl over there and crawl around and cry like a baby. See, uh, real loud. Can you do it? Can you do it? Cr crawl and cry like a baby. Thank you, David Lynch. I was waiting for the exact moment for that, and I got it way earlier than I thought. Thank you, chat member. I appreciate that. Vinny, please kill the boss. You, you, this... And then if I kill the boss and spend, t you know, five minutes going through the boss, and then this section, which is its own nightmare, and then I fail it like I've been, that, what's the point of killing the boss when the bees are here? The bees are here! You know what? I'm gonna play this clip for myself now, because I think I need the clip. Can you cry out like a little baby for for the film? It'd be so beautiful. Cry, crawl over there and crawl around and cry like a baby. Some fast bees. Hmm. That didn't work. Can you cry like a baby? Can you cry out like a little baby for for, for the film? Be so chat. I'd like to let you know that other chat members are now enabling me. I went to get a plug and play that someone sent me, like a plug and plague, and included was a sun and moon pack. And then there was an envelope from like a game store, and it was one singular Shining Fates pack. And I'm like, I didn't ask for this. And I don't remember who I gave my P.O. Box to that sent this to me. So thank you, whoever you are. Chat Card Johnson, thank you. But, uh, you don't have to. It's an expensive hobby! I don't know what to do here. I, I don't understand. Someone said they're following a set path, not you. It could be true, but it's- they're... going to all the... quadrants. You see them go to the quadrants. Good. Oh! Yo! Okay! Okay. You faced the wrong way. That's not enough to kill them. Lava turds. How, why is the... Mm. I, I want to pick up the trash chest. I want to pick up the trash chest. I just wanted the trash chest. You know what I mean? I thought, hey, how would you really be to get the trash chest over here? Couldn't get it! Couldn't get it!
No. Already? Uh -huh. Well, I'll just stand in the fire. I don't mind. I like it there. Okay. Well, there's, that's a thing you can't do. No second chances. Um, very good. Vinny, call Beazel Booba. She's flying. Okay, get it. You Got lucky there. Not so lucky there, but that was my own fault, so whatever. Nice! Oh, I just got really lucky! That wasn't even the, the end boss of this level. Oh man, it's- it, this is a real Satanial. Is this the final fucking boss of the game? Oh man, I thought that was gonna hit the clone. Phase one of twelve. Wait, what? Are oh, you coward? I was in my underwear. Principessa. Vinny, you have to beat it again. Ah! This music. As good as it is. Like, I just have a Pavlovian response to it. It really becomes like gob music. Pain, 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 pain. What are you going to do now? I'll tell you what we're gonna fucking do, Chum. We're gonna wake the fuck up.